So in today's video, if you're looking for new irons right now, then you might want to stay tuned to look at something which suggests it's probably aimed at the better player, but I think it could be aimed at a much bigger market. But I've also got on hand an expert with me today. Lewis is back on the channel. Yeah, happy to be here. It, it, I've been drafted in for my, uh, my 770 knowledge, have I? Exactly. It's tailor-made P770s, which I tested recently, and I suggested that they're a lot more forgiving than perhaps they look. You're a current user of P770s, and also had some P790s in the bag as well at some point in life. Okay. So we're going to do that kind of comparison out here today. You've got a nine handicapper, you've got a professional golfer, and we're both going to give our views on whether or not we think this P770, I suppose, which handicap sort of player they might suit or not. Yeah. Right, before we go and hit a ball, Lou, what have you got? What are we playing? Uh, I think it's about 165 downwind. So what's so that? Seven iron? Yeah. Seven iron. Good seven iron. Thanks. Right. That is the new P770 seven iron. So first of all, what are you thinking in terms of uh, how do they compare? Any, any, no, any visible differences? I mean, I must it admit... It looks more like the 790, doesn't it? Like, that, is that, well, I've got the 790 here, so yeah, oh, let's have a look. There you go. You're absolutely spot on, yeah. Lou is exactly right, I didn't realise that, but the P770 is now much more in line with the P790. So it's more into the range a yep, little bit. Yeah, makes sense. Um, put them down. I mean, clearly there's something slightly different. <coughs> they, they, it's just, it's slightly different, isn't it? I think there's a, just, there's a, there's is there a change the, in the shape? They're different in the finish. Yeah. Um, there's a... Sl I mean, it's basically the same. Basically what Lou's saying basically is the there is very form. little to separate them at all in terms of visibility and address. They, they've, they've made little subtle changes, haven't they? I think they've changed the shaping, yeah. Certainly from this side, I can probably see yeah. it more than you can there. And what, and what we try to do, I, I think, for the purpose of the, is not come in with any, like, I've not done any reading. In, I just want to see yeah. what I think really is. is, is well, let's go. What are you going to hit first, then? Are you going to hit your club or are you going to hit the new yeah, one? Yeah, I'll hit mine and then we'll, okay. we'll, and we'll hit the new one and then. What's different launch, Lou? I don't know whether that's down to strike or... Yeah, I did hit that one a little better, but... What I want to know is how can you just like walk out of here? It's absolutely freezing. You haven't even had a warm-up swing. <laughs> what is that all about? <laughs> nice pick up, that. Same, Not... same for both, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good line. It was yeah. a bit... Uh, maybe got... I'm just going to try your... your P770, the older version, and see what... If I can notice anything different. I mean, in terms of ball flight, we'll get shot tracer on them. It's probably similar in terms of launch angle. There wasn't lots of split them. No. I mean, a bit two shots there. I can't really, if I was being perfectly honest with you, there's very little difference I can no. tell between the two. But the bigger question I want to answer in this video is that was a seven iron, which I found I very much doubt I'll have found the bang centre of the club, but it was perfectly, you know, I could cope with this club in terms of forgiveness, whatever you want to talk about it. Yeah. So that's the big question I want to answer as well. Who is this suitable for and why would you want to go with P790s when I think a lot of people can handle these P790, uh, 770s maybe yeah. just as easy? Yeah. Right, before we move on to what we're about to do next, just want to talk about that previous screen. I mean, essentially what we did, we, we did the opposite really. I hit the better shot with the older version yeah uh, and vice versa so i think it was based on strike more than anything in terms yeah. of where those and balls the one thing up. when we say about better is there's no real difference oh, it's marginal it? no but yeah, i think in terms of both of our balls i mean my i got my second ball pin high the other one probably fell about 10 yards short yours was your dispersion was slightly tighter than that but a similar situation yeah yeah so that's seven iron don't forget but what i want to do in the nine iron is something different i want to use a p799 iron yeah. and a p777 iron and the reason I want to do that is because this is the bit where I think if you've got any concerns of your ability to be able to use the P770s in the longer end of the bag, then you might feel like you can certainly use the P770 in the short. Yeah, so it's, it's, that mixed it's, thing. it's more about like people's decision making, isn't it? When yeah. you're looking at buying these, I think what they've done with the looks is to try and blend them in more with the 790s. Yeah, yeah. This bit's going to be something a bit different. I'm not going to hit the old and new. I want to hit the P790. There's a lot of people that if you're doubting your ability to cope with the P770 at the long end of the bag, 
then certainly down the short end, maybe. Definitely. So this is P799 iron. Ah, apart from my alignment being way off. Nice. What was that? That was the 770. Okay. I won't lie, we've had a quick chat off camera and uh, we've, we basically agree. You said the P790 is what? More powerful. Yeah. And I think if you look at lofts and the way the head's designed, it's exactly what it's meant to yeah. do. But which, which one would we have? Like which, which Well, again, I think that boils down to what you prefer. I, I think, and again, it's always down to strike. I think it, it actually launched a bit higher, the P790 as well. See, yeah. to pop it up there a bit higher, you're always going to get that CG place with a bigger head. So there's maybe a bit more help. And again, I think we're going to appreciate that more in the longer end of the bag. But for me down here, I prefer the finesse that comes out of the P770, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right. We've done a mid iron, we've done a short iron. I think we all know where we're going to now. It's a couple of five irons and then C. I think that's where the difference could really, well, be found. We'll see. Yeah, absolutely. Right, okay, so to the end of the bag where I think there could be some telltale signs. Now, first of all, from a visual perspective, we're talking long end and we're talking five irons. In terms of width of sole, I expected to see a bigger difference. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this new 770, I think, has got a little bit more to it, um, which, which might sort of explain where they're trying to go with it. That's really uh, interesting. And then I'll throw an image here so you can see what we're looking at again, but Lou, thoughts on that? No, I was interested to see, I was waiting to see what you said first of There's all there, sort of uh, copycat comments here, but I'm looking down at, at this end of the bag, they they seem to have bulked up the P770, it looks very, very similar indeed. Yeah. So the question is, have the P770s changed and become more forgiving and therefore we don't need the P790 option, or is there still more forgiveness packed into that P790? Back onto that teammate, and it's some balls up there. Okay, strike. That was 790, that. Beautiful. That was the P770. Nice. Right, so before we get into a bit of a summary, the five irons, what were your thoughts there and what you just hit? Um, well, we hit 770 and 790, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, clearly, um, they've, they've moved 770 closer to the set P790. Yeah, I'd agree with um, that. In size, in performance, um, from using 770s at the moment, there's a, you know, there is a difference at that end of the bag for me. Well, I think there was a yardage um, difference. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think that might be a loft thing. It is might, a loft it? thing. Yeah, it yeah. is a loft thing. Yeah, um, but in terms of how they look, um, certainly, you know, that end of the bag, you're not going to catch it sweet every time. No, you, no. Know, you know, even you know. I think the go on. Sorry. I, I I I like the fact that they they they. I think they've just done a bit of troubleshooting. Have gone right. How can we make that better but keep it the same? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I think particularly that top end of the bag, that five iron, are almost inseparable in terms of visually, in my opinion. Uh, there's a loft difference, which I checked a bit later on. Throughout the range, let's say it's probably two degrees weaker, would you believe, on the P770s, which yeah. surprised me a little because the distance wasn't that great. It was a visible difference, but particularly on the five iron, you'll see from the spread on the two different shots on the fairway, there was probably about 10 yards separating both our uh, P770 and P790 shots. So there's a difference there, but in terms of forgiveness, the big thing for me, and going back to the summary, is that we were looking at what separates the two clubs. Well, if you're a confident ball striker and you're happy with the smaller profile, then for me, you go P770 all day long because yeah. they, they are that, the smaller yeah. and more compact if and they're just as forgiving. If you're a competent ball striker, I think the, the message would be go and try them both. Yeah, Because you would. can, because you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can try them both, yeah. yeah. Um, that would be there. But the, the one thing I really liked is they, you know, against, maybe against the grain for Taylor made is they've not been afraid to keep the same name and keep the product almost, you know, almost, almost the same. Yeah, 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 they've gone, we've made a good product. You, you might associate with that style of um, marketing or progression with other brands, I'd say, not tailor-made. And they've just gone, you know, this is a really good product. We'll and, 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 I, and, I, and 
I think the summary would be it's really good, whether it's better, whether it's different, but I, I would, um, they've improved it slightly. Uh, yeah, I think TaylorMade know that their P790 in particular is their flagship model in terms yeah. of the mass, that to the masses. Yeah. They've put this one in. You made a good note that I didn't spot, if I'm perfectly honest with you early on, in the fact that they've aligned it in terms of visually. So it's perfect now if you want to blend the set, have some of the P790s in the top end and P770 in the bottom. Looks absolutely seamless. So the summary is, I think it's a very positive response from both sets of irons. This hollow body market is very competitive. Taylor may do it incredibly well. And I think you've got an opinion of two different levels of golfer, but effectively with the same opinion in that uh, it's a thumbs up on both of them. Yeah, It's definitely. just down to personal preference. Really good, yeah. The new, the new 770 as a whole. Um, it's, Impressed. Yeah, really good. Right, thanks to Lou. We're back up here at Hollywell Golf Club. Uh, don't forget, I always want to give this shout out that if you're looking for lessons and if you're in this vicinity, this North Wales vicinity, then you've seen this indoor facility that we've been uh, using of late up at Hollywell. Uh, give Lou a shout if you're in need of some lessons. And I know that I need to get back in there and have a look at mine, but that's for another day. We're going to carry on. We've got another video to do. It's on a product which I know he's going to hate. Right, see you all soon.